also the peers around me they help me because you always think that okay oh, he is putting 10 hours of work a day you know i always thought that okay if he can do it why can't you do it if he can get into netflix why can't you do it if he can get an amazon sd1 or sd2 why can't you do it yeah. it's not that hard and you're not dumb so just give it a try maybe you don't get it yeah. but you'll go, you'll be better as the next day than today like how you know what do you think worked for you in the job market what mm-hmm. you know how did you and maybe go with that i guess or like okay i'm, I'm trying to think i'm sorry i'm just trying to organize this oh, like okay um let's start with the result which is like in your background how about that so what's your result in the background yeah so like got amazon walmart yeah what's like your background like the flu code and, and doing all that stuff so i'm my, my name is yash i come from india uh I've done my masters at northeastern university in boston i've since like since my first year i've been grinding lead code uh i had a brief gap in the middle but then i said he started it today my streak is like 304 days or something so yeah, uh, every day uh every day i try to do one or two uh problems on lead code and uh try to stay consistent uh you'll hear a lot of consistency in the whole chat for sure uh because i'd like to say that that's what uh helped me get me here so yeah uh doing a lot of lead code apart from that the result that i got is uh multiple interviews for sure a senior software developer position from walmart and an sd2 from amazon uh mm-hmm. amazon stores probably one of the toughest one to get in uh, for yeah. sure because yeah the, that's the result i have currently joined amazon yeah that's more about it yeah yeah no i mean and i would say for sure too on the consistency like for you i mean like you're you're like i looked at your you know your profile too and like one you were on the top like the on the leaderboard that i have for people in the group like i think yeah once you were just like i mean most of the time you're up like near the top for sure and i think once i actually at the top but um i mean yeah for sure like killing it on consistency and i and i say that too cuz like uh, i'll talk to people and like other software engineers and they just don't like they just can't do it yeah i i think i feel like too honestly for i want to say for like the international like just non us people like it's just like work harder or like just have to reach up stuff um and just better yeah so but um yeah and, and so i guess like with so you said like the big thing was consistency i guess like you know well i know yeah like what's what your thoughts what did you, what worked for you what do you think worked for you what were like the big things that that helped you versus like yeah i guess you know other people who are struggling or whatever yeah firstly uh I think I have three or four points uh, on what helped me. The first being uh, my groups. Firstly, is uh, the day I joined your group. I have met a lot of like a bunch of amazing people. Did continuously mock with uh, two or three people on the group. Apart from it, I had one other group as well where uh, mm-hmm. I believe so that I got the most help out of. don't want to take the name publicly out there but uh, mm-hmm. it's a very good group uh, they have a good uh, profile for uh, alumni and connections they have people all over the fang and then top fortune 50 companies i think i did uh, uh, this was firstly the groups the second thing is consistency uh, the third thing is continuous mocks Uh, I believe so that before getting these two offers, I uh, for the last two weeks I was doing two or three mocks a day, so three hours of mocks, uh, solving yeah. maybe four or five problems on lead code. Uh, yeah. Also taking their mocks, uh, as to understand how the interviewer thinks about you, and yeah. uh, what he's trying to assess. Uh, I believe so that helps a lot to structure your answer well and say only the specific things that he wants to hear and not what you think of. right mm-hmm. uh i think that help apart from that being con- confident on yourself i thought that uh, you'll i i definitely knew that if i'm doing such kind of a hard work uh, i'll get somewhere for sure but when was the question right i took it way, way too seriously in the last month uh, did a did a lot of mocks solved a lot of lead code was very selective on to jobs so yeah uh, what i t- think is even uh, the mentor on that particular group uh, says that mm-hmm. spray and uh, pray pray and pray, pray doesn't and work yeah 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 spray and pray doesn't work you have to be selective as to where you apply and uh, you have to go curate your resume well for each and other role that you apply this will definitely help you get calls and if you get calls it's all on your talent and uh, consistency as to how you crack it 
Also, it has to be your day for sure because uh, you may solve one thousand problems in lead code, and that particular day you are asked the thousand and first problem, which you don't yeah. know of. So this is another point. The other point is thinking in deep. Whenever you think of a lead code problem, you don't just have to mug it up, right? You have to understand why the problem is solved a certain way. At least solve the problem two different ways, if not three different ways. Uh, even if it's not optimal enough, even if it's brute force, this will definitely help you understand the concepts way clearer. Uh, because if if there's an interviewer and he gets three different answers from you for the same problem, he's impressed, right? Yeah. I yeah. think these are the most uh, metrics I feel like help me. Yeah, I, and I mean, on what you just said too on that last part, I think that's like really, really big too. Um, I mean, yeah, that's definitely like a factor, right? Is like not just oh, okay, I came up with one solution, but you came up with three. I mean, that is definitely impressive. Mm -hmm. Like most people can't do that, and it also just shows oh, he actually knows the instruction algorithms, um, and it's missing. I think for sure, like a lot of people just don't even think about that. Um, so yeah, I, I like that a lot, and. For the mock interviews, you um, so you said you were doing them like two, two to three a day. Uh, how are those like structured? Like you just partnered with somebody and was just like, hey, let's just like you take it. Like we just swap turns and then um, yeah. solve it. Or, uh, yeah. I usually have a calendar open for mock. I just send them the link and uh, ask them to pick whatever time they want. So we pick our six minute uh interview where 30 minutes i ask them a question 30 minutes they ask me a question mm -hmm. and uh, we try to solve uh, if not solve at least discuss about it because most of the times we did medium to medium hard never hard because i don't think so that uh, unless it's google or netflix mm -hmm. or you know yeah. a, a snowflake you need a hard problem from lead code to get into a good place for sure mm -hmm. uh so yeah medium to hard uh if it's big enough, then just discuss about it. And uh, you understand, right? Uh, once you discuss, you know that, okay, this person will be able to solve it because he's discussing it in such a deep level. Uh, discuss about the time and space, that's the most important part. If not, solve it. So that's mm -hmm. how uh, the mock was structured. Maybe at least two a day for sure. And yeah. uh, this helped me give a lot of confidence uh, on the interviews. Uh, you said it was one hour long. So 30 yeah. minutes, 30 minutes yeah okay cool cool nice and okay yeah i guess on the groups like how do how do you think the groups are helpful like for you mm -hmm. so you mentioned like that was like one of the things mm -hmm. yeah especially your group it's firstly it's a very good community out there i have to say this out and uh there's a healthy competition you know uh it's not like uh okay he's going ahead of me in the leaderboard and then okay i have to solve more questions it's not uh it's almost like how many questions i can solve a day and how many days i can do this straight away so consistency comes in play mm -hmm. and uh slowly and steadily you see your uh, name going up if you do this every day so uh, the leaderboard definitely helped because i was always thinking about, okay uh the number yesterday was like 57 i didn't do three questions today so let's take it to 60 you know uh it's not like okay, okay the next person is like at 100 Oh, where am I? It's it's never like that for me. Yeah. So the leaderboard definitely helped. Uh, I mocked with two of the people on your group as well. Uh, mm -hmm. I also got reference for a uh, couple of companies from uh, your group itself. So oh, really nice. Yeah, uh, so, having yeah uh, having a good group definitely helps. And uh, yours was uh, one of the best groups I've been in. Yeah, I, I, there's like a lot of stuff that I want to change in it, um, but uh, I mean, that's really good to hear too, for sure. Okay, actually, you know, one thing I, I think was interesting is that like you you are really consistent and I think most people aren't. Do you, I guess, where do you think that comes from? Like, I don't know, have you always been like really consistent with like the leak code stuff? Like, well, yeah, what are your thoughts on like, how do you do that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think I've never been such, uh, I've never been consistent in the past, but uh, in the middle, I that there are two aspects to it, right? Firstly, I'm uh, an international student, so uh, there are a lot of visa restrictions. Don't want to go, go in depth on that, but a lot of visa restrictions. Uh, there's a certain time frame as to when we get a job. If we don't, we go back to India. So uh, we are restricted way too much, and uh, that's the first thing that where it comes from. The other thing is I started enjoying the code. I started enjoying different data structures and uh, started enjoying solving problems onto them. Right. So once I catch a data structure, for uh, for example, try, I try to finish all different problems from try. Uh, never mind if it's hard or something. And uh, 
it was never that uh, I was doing this for consistency. Uh, it was for uh, my personal fun, you know. And yeah. uh, it it turned out to be consistency because I was doing it every day. Yeah. Okay. Do you notice? Because I'm trying to like frame this, but like like do you notice that? Because basically that like you know I, I think a lot of people just think okay well I need to do this lead code stuff and then they don't do it. I guess. Uh, yeah. Maybe there's not a way that I could actually like phrase it, but um. I get, like the big question I'm I'm curious about is just that like uh, is have you one I guess like okay one like, we'll start it I guess which is like have you always just been able to just like work really hard or was it like you came to the U S and you were like dang like I really really need this to work and if this doesn't work like this is like so like terrible and like I need to need to and like that's the thing that's like pushing mm-hmm. you to doing learning tries learning the next concept learning the next concept yeah, yeah. Uh, I was not uh, a hardworking person in back in India. Once I came oh, to the yeah. US, I saw the competition out here. Uh, everybody around you is so, so talented, uh, so hardworking. You feel like, okay, where am I in this? You know, uh, oh, yeah. not just, not like a competition, but a personal growth aspect was not there in India. But mm-hmm. I feel here, it's very important for you to, you know, grow and uh, stay on top of the chain. I would say, uh, because otherwise, uh, there's very, uh, there's a lot of restrictions uh, in the future when it comes to our visa. So, mm-hmm. uh, that was the most important aspect as to why I had to work so hard. Uh, mm-hmm. also the peers around me, they helped me because you always think that, okay, oh, he's putting 10 hours of work a day, you know, at least you can do six, six is also yeah. good enough, you know, every day. Uh, so I always thought that, okay, if he can do it, why can't you do it? If he can get mm-hmm. into Netflix, why can't you do it? If he can get an Amazon SD one or SD two, why can't you do it? Yeah. It's not that hard and you're not dumb. So just give it a try. Maybe you don't get it, yeah. but you'll go, you'll be better as the next day than today. Yeah. No, I, I mean, for me, that's what that's, I think that's like a big thing too. Right. So like when I was in college, like I started noticing all my friends were getting Google offers, Amazon. And I was like, okay, well, hold on. Like, let me see like what they're doing. And then like, that's how like, you know, I started going on the train and then now I'm like doing this stuff on where I'm streaming on leak code. And now I'm like, okay, well, this guy did like five problems, six problems in one day. Like, let me try ahead and go ahead and do that. So, um, I mean, that thing is huge, 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 huge. I think would, yeah, for yeah. me, yeah. So, um, that's cool. That's good. You know, that's cool. Um, okay, cool. I uh, did. You get nervous during the interviews? Um, do you get nervous? Like, at, were you nervous? Like after the interviews? Like, do you think you just killed it? Uh, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, there's a timeline to this, right? Um, I was nervous on my Walmart interview because firstly, I, I gave a lot of rounds for sure. I think I, I gave six rounds in total and uh, I was also in a loop with you, but uh, yeah. in the middle it's not. But yeah, yeah. Uh, I gave six rounds in total. There was also two rounds on site on Walmart, which was a very good experience for sure. Uh, it was very, uh, they gave me a warm welcome and uh, they asked me a lot of behavioral, a lot of SQL one coding question as well on on site rounds and uh, they have built a huge infrastructure in bentonville arkansas mm-hmm. um, that's where my position was based and uh, i was initially being interviewed for sd3 uh, i i'd like to believe that i did pretty well in uh, the on-site rounds uh, yeah. which made them give me a senior software role and i just come from yeah uh, and I, I, I just have like two, 2.5 years of experience, uh, yeah. in India, uh, 2.5, I'd say, and, uh, a pretty good experience for sure. And they reiterated, I think three times that we never give senior software developer for someone with two or 2.5 years of experience. Yeah. Uh, but uh, you were just good with data structures and, uh, you were confident on your behavioral question. So, so yeah, the, that's the part where I instantly got an offer the next day for Walmart. And uh, that was a good part where they didn't even wait for the other people to interview and uh, they gave me an offer. Mm-hmm. So uh, after that, I was like happy because it was meeting my expectations. The role was meeting my expectations, not the money. I mean, not the money as in uh, the money was not a key factor for me to consider at that point. The role was, uh, okay. it was pretty good uh, working on the website and uh, the warehouse teams. So I got the offer and uh, the first, first offer is the most special one, you know, after three months of grind and hard work. When you get your first offer, you're very happy, right? Mm-hmm. So after that, I had my uh, Amazon interview in like four days from then, and mm-hmm. I didn't study. To be honest, in, in four days, I might have put like three hours of effort or four hours of effort for yeah. my Amazon interview, which was SD2. So 
whatever came out that day, uh, I would definitely say that it was consistency because I knew most of the problems uh, that was coming out that day. I knew the concepts. Yeah. I knew what the follow-ups were. Uh, yeah. Because uh, in Amazon SV2, it's it's just the behavioral and the follow-ups that are tricky. Uh, the questions might still be out of uh, their list. Uh, I I have signed an signed an NDA, so don't want to go in the questions part, yeah. but might still yeah. be out of their list. But the follow-ups uh, they are very tricky for sure. Mm-hmm. So yeah. if if you do well in that uh, well there, then uh, then that, that's a different case for you. Yeah. So I didn't study for uh, SV2 in Walmart. I was nervous to answer your question. In Walmart, I was now in SV2, I was not uh, because I already had an offer. So I think that helps a lot. Going ahead, if I, I was not happy on SV2, I, I believe so that I would have cracked again, maybe a, one or two offers more if I didn't consider going to Walmart. But the role was pretty good. So I was very fixated on, okay, Walmart would be the place for me if I don't get Amazon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. That makes sense. Uh, last thing is, yeah. Do you, what do you? Do you have any advice or guess for like, let's say, there's someone who is, mm-hmm. let's say, a, uh, yeah, software engineer. Um, could mm-hmm. be another. Actually, I mean, if, if you want to, like, I guess just any software engineer. Honestly, I mean, if you want to like target it to to someone who specifically is like a you know master student um, who came over to the United States from India, mm-hmm. um, they're struggling in the mm-hmm. job market. Like, what advice would you have for them to you know to getting a mm-hmm. getting an offer? Yeah. So. Firstly, it's it's not very tough, right? I feel like the market is tough, and it's not like it's never like you're incompetent because uh, you don't have to go to lead code hard to crack a good job. That's the 